So uh, behind me are some of the most historic and important textiles in the Royal Collection. And these are two of the most significant pieces worn by the sovereign during the investiture with which the sovereign is invested. And so the first one is the super tunica, and that takes the form of an open uh, garment with sleeves, uh, which is also known as the pall of cloth of gold. It is woven from cloth of gold and embroidered with gold work embroidery to a design which has a strong tradition. And in terms of its history, it's based on ecclesiastical garments. Um, and so it has a symbolic meaning from uh, ancient tradition of the organization of coronations. Um, over this is worn the final piece of investiture clothing, and that is the imperial mantle. Uh, this one was made for King George IV in 1821 and was worn at the coronations of King George V, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II and will be reworn again on the day of the coronation. The super tunica, which is just behind me, is worn immediately after the anointing. Um, that is then fastened by the um, coronation girdle or sword belt. And on the top of that, So the mantle takes the form of an open cloak, and again, it's based on 